After recording the videos for section 3.1, some of the problems were relabeled, and what I refer to as problem 39 in this next section is now labeled number 40. Problem number 39 of section 3.1 gives us two cars that will be at the same point at the same time. And the first car we assume is going A miles per hour and heads due north, while the second is going B miles per hour and goes west. Now we're asked to find what is the rate of change of the distance between the two cars at an arbitrary time t. Now, the first thing we need to find is the distance the car one has traveled um, after, uh, after t hours. So we know that, so let's say the distance one, uh, know that the car is traveling at a miles per hour. So distance one will be a times t. And similarly, the distance that car two has traveled uh, after t hours will be b times t. Now, if we uh, call the distance between the two cars s, we can see that um, s is going to equal, uh, well, so we'll have distance one squared plus distance two squared will equal s squared, which means that s will equal the square root of distance 1 squared, which is a squared t squared, plus distance 2 squared, which is b squared t squared. Now we can factor out uh, t squared out of each term here. And we see that the square root of t squared is just t. So we have uh, that s is equal to t times a squared plus b squared. So now the next step is to find the rate of change of s with respect to t. Now this means that that ds dt will, uh, car, we're assuming the car is traveling at a constant, uh, constant speed, so uh, the derivative of s with respect to time is just a squared plus b squared, and so that's the constant. And we see that it's actually not dependent on t at all. So for at any given time t, the rate of change of the distance between the two cars is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the speeds of the two cars.